welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today, we're gonna to be canning up some strawberry rhubarb syrup for the pantry. So today, I have a really simple and easy canning project to do. Uh, the rhubarb is finally ready in the garden and strawberries were extremely difficult to find that looked edible. Uh, unfortunately, um, the strawberries were just either there was nothing or they were horrid. It took me a few days to find them. I had to hunt all over the place. It was crazy. So I went out and grabbed some rhubarb this morning out of the garden and it is just perfect. So we're ready to go on our syrup. I love the strawberry rhubarb syrup. It's a sweet, tart, delicious um, syrup. It's great on pancakes, waffles, French toast, and I like to drizzle it over a little bit of chocolate ice cream sometimes too, because you know, yum, it's delicious. You can use it for anything that you would use a flavored syrup for. So this is really a super simple and basic project. There were only a couple of ingredients in this. We're gonna use some fresh rhubarb, fresh strawberries, a uh, little bit of lemon juice, and sugar. That's it. Um, nothing else. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we just gave our rhubarb a good wash. We want to make sure we get all that dirt off there. And then I'm just going to cut these in small bite-sized pieces so we can get this into our syrup. And as far as amounts go, you can do this with any amount. It is equal parts strawberry, rhubarb, and sugar. So I'm going to measure out and see what I get for rhubarb because that's the what I have the least of here. I've got a little bit more strawberries in the fridge if I need them. So we're just going to trim these up and I just do small little pieces because these are going to be a little chunky in your syrup and that's okay. They'll be really soft though. So. We're just going to put these in there and we'll cut these all up and just measure how much we have. And we want to match, you know, if we have four cups of rhubarb, we're going to want four cups of strawberries. So you can do this in huge batches or small batches. It really is up to you and what you have available. I'm going to cut my strawberries about the same size as well. So we ended up with three cups of rhubarb. So I've put this right into the pot and I cut up three cups of strawberries. So we're just gonna add those right in also. And we're gonna put these on a medium heat and we wanna stay right with this because once we can start to see the juices coming out in the bottom, then we're gonna start to add our sugar. And because we had three cups of strawberries, three cups of rhubarb, we're gonna use three cups of sugar for this. So we're just gonna stay with this while it heats up. Once we start to see that syrup, then we'll start adding our sugar in slowly. Okay, so now we're starting to see the juices. There's not a whole lot in there, but that's okay. I'm gonna start adding my sugar to this. And I'm, I've got the three cups of sugar and we're gonna put Oh, three quarters of a cup to a cup in at a time. I don't want to put it all in at once. We want this to dissolve really well. So we're, we're just going to put about three quarters of a cup to a cup in. And uh, we're just going to get this all dissolved really well before we add any more. And while I am doing this and cooking this down, I've got my water bath canner heating up with the jars in it. So they are ready to go when this is ready. And I've also got a small pot back here um, with my lids in there warming up. So we're gonna get a real nice seal on those. I like to get them a little gummy before I can with them. So once that is all dissolved, we're gonna add a little bit more of the sugar in. And we're just right in there and there's no exact measurement but it it is a little bit harder to 
um, get it all dissolved evenly if you put too much in at a time. So I just do three quarters of a cup to a cup, half cup, however, however you like it. And this really beefs up that juice. This is such a wonderful treat over anything, really. I've even put it over a biscuit before because I had biscuits that need to be eaten. And mm -mm. Anything you'd use a sweet, delicious syrup for. We love this. And I also make strawberry rhubarb jelly, but today I wanted some syrup. So we're just going to keep adding until all our sugar is in there. So once we have all our sugar dissolved, I am just going to continue to heat this on a medium heat and let this come to a boil. And I'm just going to cook it until it's the consistency that I like. And I'm going to smash a little bit of it on the sides. You could use a potato masher here or whatever. I don't mind the chunks in the syrup. I think it's quite delicious. So um, so I don't beat it up too much, but you can really mash this down. You could even send it through a strainer and get the chunks out if you wanted it to be um, a more liquidy syrup instead of strawberry and rhubarb chunks. But I really love it like this. So this is how I do it. So we're just going to keep cooking this until I get it to the consistency that I like. So a little bit thicker, not too much, but little. Okay, so I have just turned this off. It still looks really thin, but I test it by taking a little spoonful and putting it on a plate and throw it in the freezer for just a minute or two and see how it runs to see how thick it is because it's a little deceiving while you're cooking it. Uh, it is a little bit thicker when it cools down. So I just test it on a plate in the freezer and it is right about where I like it. So I've turned this off and we're going to start jarring it up. So we have got our jars right out of the canner. I like to do two at a time when I'm water bath canning and that way nothing cools down too much. Once these are ready, they'll go right back into the canner. And you can see this is still pretty chunky. I smashed it a little bit, but not too much. I like it a little chunky. You can definitely smash it more. And I like to leave one inch headspace right at that big rim at the bottom, that last glass rim. And we just wanna get these filled up. Once I have them to the one inch headspace, I'm gonna take my lemon juice uh, I just squeeze the lemon and we're going to put about half a teaspoon in each one. I do a teaspoon in my um, pints, but today we're just doing eight ounce jars because that way we don't have to worry about using it up too fast when we get it out. And then I'm just going to debubble a little bit, move things around. That'll mix that lemon juice in as well. We don't want any big bubbles in there. I'm also going to take a paper towel and with a little bit of white vinegar on it. I just want to make sure the tops of my jars are super duper clean so we don't have any seal failures and there's nothing on there but we just want to make sure so I'm just going to put my lid right on get those babies on there and I just warm them up that's how I was taught and I have very good luck with it this way so that's how I do it I haven't changed it and then we're just gonna get these finger tight and so they are ready to go in the canner we're just gonna pop these right in the canner and start our next jars and I'm just gonna keep filling jars and I will bring you back so once we have all our jars filled, I just put them in my water bath canner. You want to make sure there's at least one inch of water over the top of your jars. You don't want them sticking out. And we're going to put this up on high, bring it to a boil. And once it's at a full rolling boil, 
I'm going to start my timer for 15 minutes. This is going to water bath process for 15 minutes and then they'll be done. And that's it. It's really a simple canning project. It's pretty fast. Doesn't take that long to put it all together. And we have got some delicious, yummy strawberry rhubarb syrup for the pantry. I'm going to let these sit on the counter for until tomorrow morning, probably. And then we'll give them a good wash in hot, soapy water, get them all dried off, label them, and off to the pantry we go. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.